I am Matt Sorgel with the Times Union. For a couple of hours a few days ago, I spent uh, some time out on the south end of Black Hammock Island, up there by Little Talbot Island, um, Big Talbot Island, with uh, Keith Ashley, a UNF archaeologist who's done a lot of work on the, one of the great mysteries of Jacksonville. Who were the people who lived here before the Europeans came? Um, for centuries, the uh, idea of these people has been formed by these uh, engravings made by a European artist uh, based on paintings that were supposedly made by a French artist, Jacques Lemoyne, who was here with the French at Fort Caroline in 1564 and 1565. He escaped narrowly in a, uh, a, tr uh, in a perilous uh, journey uh, from the Spanish who invaded Fort Caroline and overthrew it uh, one, one rainy day. Uh, Lemoyne uh, lived to tell the story and supposedly to make some paintings, but they've never been found. Uh, however, some engravings said to be based on these paintings were made by Theodore de Bry. And uh, for years, this is how people thought that of the Timaqua, the people who lived here before uh, the Europeans, who met the Europeans here at the mouth of the St. John's River. And these uh, engravings and some of Lemoyne's surviving paintings, mostly botanical sketches of the New World, um, are in an exhibit that's now open at the Comer. We'll be running into early January. But um, Keith Ashley at UNF and uh, his colleague Robert Thunen say that a lot of what we know from these engravings are actually all wrong. And they've done some a uh, lot of digging in around this area to find uh, the truth. And uh, what they found is that they're, and they're arguing that there was a separate group of Timucua here called the Makama, known for the dialect they spoke, they spoke, and they lived right around the mouth of the St. John's and kind of up towards St. Simon's Island, and these were sea people, and Makama means of the sea, and this is how they lived. They uh, harvested the oysters, ate the fish, and the sea was their, their life for centuries, and uh, these UNF researchers have done fascinating work on these people, and they are the subject of my stories in Sunday's Times Union, and you can also find them on jacksonville.com.